can go ahead and do a new year sharing. Oh, hit the um, the record button on the Ninja, on the front of the Ninja, the red one. There you go. There we go. Because I do believe we are live at the moment. If I could just take a moment to actually, you know, hit it when your iOS device, iOS device, yeah, updates when you aren't looking, and then you have to type in the passcode, and then you type in the wrong passcode, and now you're in. Excellent. Okay. So what I want to do before I start yammering away here is give the Facebook stream a moment to go. It is going. We've had instances before where we started and it just kind of died. So we're giving it a moment just to make sure that it's not going to do that. And it seems like we're actually going here. So hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome. Hope you had a great weekend. It was hot here in Ashland. Um, so hopefully you were able to stay cool this weekend. What I want to talk about today is flooring. Seems like a strange subject, but obviously this is an important part of photography if your subject is going to be anywhere near or on the floor. So I want to tell you a little story first of when I moved into this studio. So this place, this is a warehouse. This is a thousand square foot warehouse and it is um, just concrete floor and white walls. Really kind of a simple space. And when I moved in, the walls have been freshly painted. And I was so excited to move in that I basically saw that it was looking good and said, right, it's move in ready, moved all my stuff in here, unloaded tons of gear, rented a truck and moved it in here from my house and storage and got everything in here. And then uh, probably that same day, actually, probably realized the floor was actually disgusting. It was, it was filthy. So it turns out <laughs> that the previous tenant to me was a grower. This is Oregon and their plant troughs, whatever you call them, planters, things would you know overflow their muddy water onto the floor and they'd hose it out. But there were years of ingrained dirt and mud into the concrete. And you know, it's the kind of thing you try to sweep out, you can't sweep, so you get some water on it and that kind of works. And what I really needed to do was to do a massive steam cleaning through the whole thing. But by the time I realized this, I already moved everything in and it just wasn't an option. So lesson one, when you move into a place like this, really make sure it's clean before you move in because that was a real bummer. So anyway, so concrete floor, not ideal. Um, I knew that I was going to need something about this. I thought about maybe doing an acid wash and the polish. That'd be really cool, but I'm renting the place and that's kind of a permanent thing. Can't exactly take that with me. So I didn't decided not to do that. Uh, and I kept looking around trying to find a solution and I finally figured out that I could buy panels and I, I wanted to have one of these panels in front of me and this is not what I'm sitting on here, but, um, but I couldn't find a spare one, but they're one by one foot panels that are uh, athletic flooring. That's what these ones are, that are in here are for. And you can buy them as cheap as I think a dollar a panel and then they get up to like $9 a panel. Um, obviously the cheap ones are, are pretty crappy, but you spend a little bit more money, you get some nicer ones. And what I have in here, I actually bought used from a gym that was closing its doors. So I got the $9 a panel versions for $3 a panel. So major bargain there. And these are something you can install yourself. They just snap in. Um, and this has been a great floor for me. It's a little it's soft so when you're walking on it, there's a little bit of give. Uh, I work at a standing desk, so it's nice to be standing on that or if I'm just you know, in here shooting all day, standing on concrete is no fun, uh, but the, the flooring is very comfortable. The problem with the flooring though is it's not particularly attractive for shooting. So I end up looking for other things to shoot on, other types of flooring to use. Actually, hey, Tiana, would you grab one of the, uh, the panels, the wood panels, uh, the false door panels behind the, they're over there behind the, storage thing. Um, thank you. So in a quest for to find different types of flooring, one of the things that I found are if you're doing something small is something called a door skin. Perfect. This is a piece of a door skin, uh, but these come in four by six foot panels. Thank you very much. And as you can see, these are really, really thin pieces of plywood that are designed to skin a door. So you'd put this onto a door and now it looks like something nice and you can stain it however you like. They come in four by eight or four by six, four by eight foot panels, I think. And so for one shoot, for example, I bought a few of these and just built a floor and then put furniture on the floor, whatever you're going to do. And it all looks great. Um, and they're quite inexpensive. So they, they're invariably going to get dirty. Uh, you can you know, replace them pretty cheaply and you can have there's because they're so thin and obviously lightweight, you could have dozens of these in your studio that you could lay down as flooring at any time to develop a different look. So that was a really cool thing. Then one time I was in a, uh, I was actually at my local Chamber of Commerce greeters meeting. They do a weekly greeters thing. I don't usually get to go, but uh, it was at a local flooring sales place, carpeting and hardwood floor and so on. 
And uh, for some reason, I got to chatting with a guy about flooring. I was like, oh, you know, what does it cost to buy this type of floor, this type of floor, and if I only wanted 50 square feet or 100 square feet or something like that? And he goes, oh, I got a bunch of scrap in the back. Really? So it turns out this wood that I'm sitting on right now is a gorgeous floor. This is a very expensive hardwood floor, real hardwood floor. He had had a couple of boxes of this sitting in his back room for a decade, left over from some job. He said he would never be able to sell it to another client because now that it's so old, there's no way it was going to match. So it was just sitting there collecting dust. He couldn't bring himself to throw it away. So I bought it for, I think, $60, I think, for this, what you're seeing here, which is a little bit bigger than what you're seeing in this space. And it is a beautiful, beautiful floor. Now, it's not the easiest thing to, to hold into place. They do snap together and then we kind of tape the edges around and every once in a while we have to redo them. But it does give me this really, really nice real wood floor. It's not some fake junk. It's a real wood floor and it just makes for a beautiful flooring for your shooting. So that's kind of today's big tip. You're looking for floor, for new floors for your studio, new floors to shoot on. You've got the door skins, which is a great, great, super cheap option, very flexible option, but go to a uh, a clothing store, go to a flooring store, ask if they have any scraps of wood or scraps of you know, wood paneling, um, even things like Formica, or you, never, you never know what you're gonna find there that could be useful for a shoot. And odds are they'll sell it to you for super cheap because it's scraps to them. They can't possibly redo somebody's kitchen, someone's living room, bedroom, whatever with it, but you've now got these pieces that you can do something with yourself. So that is today's big thing. So that's that, let's see if anybody is, uh, any questions have been coming up in the chat since I haven't been watching that while we we're going live. And let's hit the refresh on here. Do, 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 do. Well, that's interesting. It says was live, not is live. That would be a bummer if this whole thing got lost. Uh, was live. Excellent. At some point, this says it's broadcasting. I don't know. Something tells me that this, what I'm seeing on the iPad is not really accurate. Ty, or do I look like I'm live? And do you see any comments there? Because I ain't seeing them here. <laughs> Technology, sometimes it sucks. Hey, Eric Hamilton was watching. Hey buddy, good to see you. Oh well, who knows? If there's questions, I will have to get to them later. Uh, tomorrow's broadcast, I'm gonna start talking about my next project, which is uh, a lynda.com shoot, which I'm leaving for on Wednesday. So tomorrow I will be packing all the gear for that. So I'm gonna be talking about that, what we're doing there. That is tomorrow's topic. Um, no idea if we're actually live or not, but hey, We'll post it up later. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Excellent. Well, that's good. So.